24th of September, 1970, was a very good day. Well, I'm saying it was a very good day. Uh, I was reporting a shift at the senior, senior stores. In the late hours of 24th September 1970, as a routine procedure, the shift boss underground, deep in the mine, was busy. He had to ensure that all production points were in order and functioning at an optimum. Then there was a rumble. Another rumble. Again, another rumble. Being at the point of operation, it was mistaken as a blast by the senior shift boss. Whoever done this, he had to be found straight because my thinking was, he has blasted. Few hours after, the reality of the rumbles was to be known to the miners deep down at 730 meters and below. The rescue operations continued amidst anxious moments. The first group that they encountered was the, the Moses Kombe group. That's the group they encountered first. They were still alive, but very, very tired and uh, in very, very bad shape. But uh, a day later, two days later, three days later, that's when they started encountering the dead bodies. Uh, bodies of uh, people Miners half is buried in the, in, the, in the tunnels. I believe my father is still working there. Mm. It was terrible. This is part of the cries of the Mufulira mine disaster. It is a story of sadness, but the story should never be buried together with those that perished then. It is not just a story for Mufulira, it is a story of Zambia.